I miss the military. At 85 years old, I'd go back in a heartbeat if I could. My eight years of putting them in the Navy was the greatest times of my life, you know? I just think that if I had to do it over again, I'd just go back and do it over again. We got to the, you get to the point where you're short and you're going, yes, I'm gonna get out. And the reason I did get out of the military was because I happened to be in Beirut, Lebanon in 1983, when, right after they bombed the embassy. So when I got short, it was like I wanted to stay, but my parents said no. It was when finally you had that plane ticket home. You weren't gonna see these, these guys again and things were gonna be a lot different. Now it felt like I just detached from something so strong back in just being me, myself as an individual because in the outside world, in the civilian world, it's no longer have that tight camaraderie anyway, you know, that you have in the Marine Corps. You go back into a, a civilian shock, you know. Coming back home and seeing my friends that I had left four years ago, still working at Denny's restaurant, and I had done so much, and I didn't want to go back to doing that anymore. I wanted something different. Now I just didn't want to just do any old thing. Well, when I was out of the military, I was a, uh, did the civilian thing for a good six, seven years as an engineer in Denver. I was, uh, I mean, I'm what you'd call a functional alcoholic. Um, I was a good engineer. It was my friends, mainly family, parents and sisters, that said, Mark, you know, you have, you have a problem. Here. And this was, they, um, they said I needed help. So that journey started back in late 2016. I was very fortunate to have a loving support system. It went from me going from Colorado to Portland for an inpatient substance abuse program. And uh, then uh, after a lot of medical appointments with psychologists, psychiatrists, and, and such, and then that's when they were like, Mark, you need uh, inpatient PTSD. 